Have you got a pile of beautiful napkins? Or do you like working with napkins? Well, today we're going to look at a series on how to fill a diary or a journal relatively quickly using napkins as the basic background to start with. I have a little what you call a dialogue from Delusions and we're going to turn this into a journal with scripture verses in it. So stay with me today and I'm going to start the series on how to do this. And if you need to purchase napkins, just check in the links below and there is a link to Ninny's napkins where I got all these beautiful napkins from and a discount code for those first time buyers of 10%. Hello, my name is Judy West and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. dialogues and I've almost finished this little book which is the black version and I thoroughly enjoyed doing these small pages and I've just done uh, white uh, drawings that one's white and gold but I, I stuck mainly to the white and I've put scripture verses in there that mean a lot to me uh, so uh, now that I've almost finished this little book and uh, if you want to see anything about how I did this, uh, have a look on my channel, Judy West the Painting Nana. I'm going to use this journal now. Now I did start writing in this journal because it had it has lines in it. And I did start writing in it, but I found I'm not using it that much. Like I've only used four pages in the front and uh, two pages in the back. So uh, what I've decided to do, and there's a lot of pages in there, and these pages are really thick and beautiful to work on. They're a really thick, good artist quality page. So I've decided I'm going to cut these pages out, which still leaves me a lot of pages to go, and I might still use them and add them as extras, like a flip out or something like that to this book. So I'm actually going to get a, a, um, a knife and uh, cut these pages out. I won't do that on, uh, but I'll just cut them out with a knife. And, uh, and then I'm going to add uh, scripture verses on healing. I'm going to call this book Choose Life. And it's from a, a, a scripture from Psalms that says, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. And uh, so uh, I'm choosing life and I'm choosing to put healing scriptures in this book, which is a helpful little thing when you're sick because you can go through and look at God's promises and uh, that can build your faith. It can get rid of your unfaithful, uh, or not unfaithfulness, but your doubt. Uh, it can build your faith instead by reading these scriptures when you're ill and know that God is wanting to heal you no matter what. So, uh, and the basic pages I'm going to decorate with napkins, paper napkins. My next step was to go through and look at the napkins I have and uh, see which ones I'm going to use and then lay them out uh, in the book so I've gone through and I've decided that this bird there's a left and right to this bird so it's going to actually start and finish the book so the first and last page this little parrot will be on and then I thought the next page will have this the next page will have these beautiful uh, poppies and the pa the names of these will appear on the screen. I th love these little rabbits and decided that they would look good coming across the bottom of this page. So I'll get actually three little rabbits across that page. These poppies are lovely too and they're a continuous design. Uh, so um, 
I will have that going all the way across the bottom there and have a nice little seam that way. I love this one. This uh, is one of my favourites. These are eucalyptus and um, so uh, we're going to have a continuous design across there as well. These books can be as quick or as um, long and drawn out as you like. Um, what I'm actually doing is I'm making quick fast decisions. These are the napkins I like so these are the napkins I'm going to use. That I haven't decided how that's going to go. It might go through the middle of the page because there's a uh, it finishes top and bottom. I might put that through the middle of the page rather than um, down at the bottom or up at the top. This one too, beautiful. I'm not sure whether I'll include the writing in it or cut that out because I want to put scripture verses in so I may not want the writing. I haven't decided what part of that's going to be in there yet but you know I can move it around. And then I've got some animals. I've got um, a mother and a, a baby zebra here which I think is quite cute. If you have any questions for me from my videos just uh, Put it in the comments below because I respond to every comment and I'm happy to hear what you have to say and uh, interested to see what you think. This I love. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it but I absolutely love this picture. Uh, it's a beautiful big big napkin so I'm, I'm going to lay that out on the page somehow. Then we have a lion and a cub as well, which I think is a, a lovely little scene. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. We only have it facing right. We don't have a left and right, I don't think. No. No left and right for this one. This is beautiful. With the grey and the white and the, and the uh, brownie colour. Beautiful thing. Don't forget, if you like what you see in these videos, push the like button and that lets me know that uh, you're happy with what you're seeing and uh, I need to put more of that into my videos. And then you've got your pretty pink roses. Now the next one are these little apricot roses. And um, I think probably with these, both of these, they're an all over pattern. So I might just completely cover the page now that I look at both of them. So we just might have a, a complete page of, and then put something else on top to make it more interesting. So uh, that's that one. And the next page, I just have this tiny little one, and I think I'm just going to set it in the corner there. I might find some other napkins to put around here yet, I'm not sure, but I'm going to start with that and we'll build on it. Now these two match, so I'm going to do something whereby both of those are here, uh, but I haven't, you know, as you know with me, I just pick something I like, put it down, and then pick the next thing I like. Now at the back here, I've got this lovely big dragonfly, and I've got these tiny little dragonflies, so we're going to look at what we can do with those two as well. And then, as I said, the last page will have that um, beautiful parrot on it as well. So the book will finish and start with that. Now, I've also got these extra pages here that I've cut out. And I'm going to add them in too. So I've, I think what I'll do is I'll look at how I'm going to add those in before I add these napkins. So... Um, this is step one, choose your napkins to make your book. And this is a fast way. If you, instead of doing one page at a time, do one step at a time. So I, my first step is choosing my napkins. Step two, which you can see in the next video, will be choosing 
what to do with these extra pages. Okay? So we'll choose what to do with those next. And we'll add them to the book before we add the napkins. So look out for the next video in this series. And we're going to put this book together relatively quickly. I've already got all my scripture verses, healing scripture verses chosen. I haven't worked out how I'm going to add them to the um, page at this stage, but I've got them printed out, so I might just be able to cut them all out and um, add them that way. Uh, but anyway, or I might do some writing myself. So stay with me, and we're going to get this book done in a relatively quick space of time.